This may look awesome at first sight, but after playing with it for about one, no, half a second, you will realize that this might just be the world's worst puzzle. The Cube for You Gigaminx. Yeah, so I'm making this video because my friend told me to get a Gigaminx. I've had one for a while, and the other video is just terrible quality, so... Like, in both ways, like, HD, and it's just bad video, because, you know, it was July 2011, but I uploaded it in August. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm a bit sick. Oh, okay, so, I can tell you the first thing, that it just happened, like, two minutes ago. I was taking out a piece, just to look at it, and this right here, and this thing doesn't want to focus. And it's supposed to have a focus on it, but it's manual. And let's see if the manual. Okay, it doesn't work. But um, if you can't, if you can't tell, there is no, absolutely no, um, thing at the end of the corner, uh, the center. So it just doesn't hook in because the plastic is that bad. It exploded, and you can't tell. But I kept it in there so that when I want to super glue it, I can do that. So it's not a big deal. I can just super glue it because you know they don't. They're not meant to split apart, so they're not gonna need to be split again. So yeah. So I'm just gonna be turning gear. So I did modify this with me myself and Pi's modification, and I actually think I might want to put dirt in it. That's really sounds really stupid, but. Or Vaseline or something that'll just... Ugh. There's way too much friction in this puzzle. And it locks up so much. Like, these outer layers, you can't stand them. Like, ugh. They're just terrible. I can barely turn it. I'd honestly rather have... If Rubik's made a Gigaminx, I'd rather have that than this. Because it's terrible tried the Terraminx, it's so much better. I don't know why I didn't get that instead. Knowing that this was going to be terrible. Now, the two layers are actually okay after the modification, that is. And you have to modify this to even be able to do a solve on it. I did one solve on it. Um, took, like, four sittings or something before I mounted it. And, ugh. Maybe two hours each or something. I don't know. Oh, it's just not fun. Okay, so I can tell you, do not get this puzzle. Get an MF8 Gigaminx, or just get a cube for you. Terraminx, if you really want a cube for you. Um, so yeah, this is the world's worst puzzle. The cube for you, Gigaminx. Oh, yeah. Also, the stickers are terrible, but you can replace that if you really, like, have that much time on your hands. Right there. Or you could just replace one sticker, but who would do that? Might as well replace the whole thing. Anyway. That's the cube for you, Gigaminx. It looks awesome. Something good to have around. But it's not worth $48 because it's a decoration after all. You might as well print, like, you might as well make a 3D um, thing out of clay if you're not going to turn it at all. So, do not get this puzzle, kids. Bye.